Every magnet has a North Pole and a South Pole. If you break a magnet in half, the poles don't separate. You just end up with two smaller dipole magnets. But what if a particle could have a single pole with a magnetic charge? For more than a century, physicists have been searching for such magnetic monopoles. A new study by the ATLAS collaboration at the Large Hadron Collider has placed new limits on these hypothetical particles and provided new clues for the continuing search. In 1931, Paul Dirac proved that the existence of magnetic monopoles would be consistent with quantum mechanics and require the quantization of the electric charge. In the 1970s, they were also predicted by new theories attempting to unify all the fundamental forces of nature. If magnetic monopoles had been present just after the Big Bang, they would have been diluted to an incredibly tiny density during the early exponential expansion phase known as cosmic inflation. Researchers at the Atlas experiment are searching for pairs of point-like magnetic monopoles with masses of up to about 4 trillion electron volts, or TeV. These pairs could be produced in 13 TeV collisions between protons by two different mechanisms, so-called Drell-Yan, in which a virtual photon produced in the collisions creates the magnetic monopoles, or photon fusion, in which two virtual photons radiated by the protons interact to create the magnetic monopoles. The collaboration's detection strategy relies on Dirac's theory, according to which the magnitude of the smallest magnetic charge, or GD, is equivalent to 68.5 times the fundamental unit of electric charge, the charge of the electron, E. Consequently, a magnetic monopole of charge 1 GD would ionize matter in a similar way as a high electric charge object, or HECO. When a particle ionizes the detector material, Atlas records the energy deposited, which is proportional to the square of the particle's charge. Hence, magnetic monopoles, or HECOs, would leave large energy deposits along their trajectories in the Atlas detector. Since Atlas was designed to record low charge and neutral particles, the characterization of these high energy deposits is vital to the search for monopoles and HECOs. In their new study, the Atlas researchers combed through the experiment's full dataset from Run 2 of the LHC from 2015 to 2018 in search of magnetic monopoles and HECOs. The search made use of the detector's transition radiation tracker and the finely segmented liquid argon electromagnetic calorimeter. The result places some of the tightest limits yet on the rate of production of magnetic monopoles. The search targeted monopoles of magnetic charge 1GD and 2GD and HECOs of electric charge 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 E with masses between 0.2 TeV and 4 TeV. Compared to the previous Atlas search, the new result benefited from the larger complete Run2 dataset. This was also the first Atlas analysis to consider the photon fusion production mechanism. With no evidence of either magnetic monopoles or HECOs in the dataset, the Atlas researchers establish new limits on the production rate and mass of monopoles and a magnetic charge of 1 GD and 2 GD. Atlas remains the experiment with the greatest sensitivity to monopoles in this charge range. Atlas physicists will continue their quest to find magnetic monopoles and HECOs, further refining their search techniques 
and developing new strategies to study both Run2 and Run3 data.